Buddhists attended religious ceremonies at temples on Maka Busha Day. Buddhists from all walks of life in Phuket attended religious ceremonies and made merit at temples near their homes in the morning to observe the important Buddhist day of Makabusha. They offered food to monks and listened to sermons. Phuket Governor Pricha Rungjan joined locals to attend ceremonies. Being a public holiday, Thai families usually take their children to attend the ceremonies. In the evening, people went to a temple again for religious ceremony, bringing with them flowers incense sticks and candles, making prayers, listening to sermons, and then walking in a procession clockwise three times around the main chapel. Phuket Governor Pricha Rungjan and his spouse again joined in the ceremony. Makabusha Day commemorates the day when the Lord Buddha's 1,250 disciples came from different places and direction to pay homage to the Lord Buddha without prior summons. All of them had been ordained by the Lord Buddha himself. It falls on the full moon day of the, of the third lunar month. Phuket plans training and exercise to handle oil slicks. The exercise to handle oil slicks at sea is scheduled to take place on February 12th through the 13th, involving all personnel concerned, government and private companies. The session is aimed at educating, enhancing skills and capacity of those who are responsible or related to the operation, as well as to test out the preparedness of both manpower and equipment, rescue tools or communication in case of any emergencies at sea. The exercise is co-organized by the Royal Thai Navy 3rd Command, the Provincial Disaster Prevention and Mitigation Office, Marine Office, PTT and other related agencies. The training will comprise discussions and tabletop exercise on February 12th, followed by the field exercise simulating a situation of oil tanker crashing into a fishing trawler under bad weather condition. This supposedly leads to an oil slick off the Phuket deep sea port. Then the rescue team and the oil slick handle team take action under the Operation Action Plan. A PTT boat, Navy ship and helicopter will be involved in the operation. Vice Chairman of House Committee on Tourism and Sports sees the Cluster Province's development plan as the right direction for local development, but suggests that authorities open for private and public representatives' participation for budgeting proposals. Setting up a working committee from clustered provinces to participate in a process to request a central budget for local development as the cluster is seen as the right approach and would enable a united and clear direction for local development, according to an MP from Phuket, Tosaporn Tepabut, who also holds the position of Vice Chairman of House Committee on Tourism and Sports. Tosaporn, however, suggested that each province recognizes the potential and gets their parliament representatives involved more in local development. He stresses that information and input from all parties are useful for provincial development strategic plans. He pointed out that the Andaman cluster of provinces in Phuket, Pangan, and Krebi in particular, saying that they should have meeting discussions with people's representatives and private sector to have their input for proposals to seek a central budget. The Audio Lab Library for the Blind is now open at Bangkok Hospital, Phuket. The president of the Blind Association in Phuket, Sukhorn Kropuapan, was the first to test out the efficiency of audio lab services offered at Bangkok Hospital in Phuket. The hospital, which claims to be the first one in the nation to provide such a library facility, is opening it for people who have eye problems to provide them with an opportunity to access news, information, and content they wish. The hospital's public affairs manager, Pia Note Anand Pakti, said blind people from Phuket, Panga, and Krabi are welcome to use the facility and that it prepares to send the audio to all libraries which have computers for their local users. She also welcomes members of the public to read books and record their voices for the new facilities. On the first day, many in the media work, like DJs or newsreaders, attended to practice using the machine so that they can contribute in whatever way they can. The library is scheduled to be officially open tomorrow, February 10th. 
the Office of Phuket City is taking on more volunteers to take care of their communities. The Office of Phuket City is opening for residents within its responsible area to apply to attend a training workshop and become the office's volunteers for disaster prevention and mitigation work. The office announces that it opens for 120 new volunteers and the training will be conducted during the 23rd through the 27th of February at the office's disaster prevention department in Phuket City. Participants will be learning and be trained on basic law, practice with fire extinguishing tools, evacuations, first aid, and basic knowledge of community disaster management. The office aims at having residents and community look after their own area and be networks for the local government to handle any possible disasters. Privately owned schools in Phuket exhibited students' works on the Private Education Day. More than 20 privately run schools in Phuket exhibited their students' work and exchanged experiences with other members during the private education fair held at Big C Superstore on Saturday. The event provided platforms and opportunities for schools, students, and parents, and the members of the public to know and participate in schools' activities. It was also a platform for students to show off their talents and interests in front of large public viewers. February 10th is observed as Private Education Day in Thailand. Phuket Authority arranged a seminar to educate related personnel about jellyfish. Around 200 people from local governments, hotel and tourism businesses, and also beach operators attended a seminar learning about different types of jellyfish, focusing on box jellyfish. They were educated about preventive measures against injuries or death from box jellyfish in particular. They also learned about the box jellyfish situation and were trained on how to give first aid or treat people who are exposed to the jellyfish. In Phuket, the box jellyfish was only reported to have been spotted on the east side at Ao Nam Bo in Wichit near the deep sea port. The training seminar followed a report of one crabby tourist dying from box jellyfish back in April 2008 and the recent appearance of many unharmful jellyfish in Phuket. Authorities then decided to educate and provide accurate information to locals who are involved with tourists so that they can pass on accurate information and knowledge to visitors. Turning now to Krabi, where the construction project of a bridge linking Lantat Noi Lantayai is expected to get a green light and to commence next year. Krabi province is expected to be allocated a budget of 400 million baht to construct a bridge linking Lantanoi Noi and Lantayai Island. The Director General of Rural Roads Department, Wichang Kuna Kulsawan, made a visit to Krabi and insisted that the project would help improve the quality of life for local people and support the tourism industry there. The 300-meter bridge project is under budget approval procedure and expects to commence by next year. Mr. Wichan also stressed that the office in Krabi is responsible for five provinces and the funding proposal is based on priority of needs. He believes the bridge construction would also lead to a lot of job employment locally. And finally, in local news, Chilong local government arranged a mobile public service for locals. In an attempt to ease residents' economic strains, the local government in Chilong of Phuket arranged a public mobile service at Ban Chilong School on Friday. The services included having on sale economically priced goods direct from manufacturers or producers, including rice grain, canned foods, and other household commodities. Other free services made available included motorcycle repairs. Electronic ID card facility plus vehicle license renewal were also made available. After declaring the service open, Phuket Governor Preacher Rungjen called for a meeting with related officials to listen to locals' needs and concerns, emphasizing that they implement government's policy to serve the public. 